Okay, everyone. Hello. This is Mad Sketch on a new episode of Doodle Tuesdays, and uh, I tried a little something different because I noticed that most of my most of my Doodle Tuesdays are really slow and they're done through no time lapse at all, and I'm kind of just doing it in parts. Uh, the truth is I can actually go on for a whole long video, but I was like, you know what, that's too boring. And I don't know what the heck I'm going to be saying, what we're going to be talking about for like an hour. Can't do it. So what I figured was to do a time lapse and try to cover something pretty basic. Um, this is also another, the other kind of purpose for this drawing too was that I'm doing a character design for a short uh, a kind of a short film that I'm trying to do, but what my thing, what I think, what I thought would be in interesting was actually have a full-on, you know, kind of a documentation of the designs and you know maybe showing a little bit of the shots and stuff. So maybe we're doing some behind-the-scene devs happening and to kind of get the buzz kind of going because the internet works differently as opposed to like how you would you know put out of put out a video like back in the day um i mean partly it's it's kind of it's kind of different because i had this idea of kind of putting out behind the scenes first kind of like how game developments are done through indie the indie route where people kind of show what they're doing and what they're working on and stuff and um it's just kind of a good thing for me it's this is my own little project uh, I talked to some of the stunt guys already, and uh, they kind of inspired me to kind of try out this new, um, well, to try out all the new, new, the new technologies and stuff that we're going to do. And, you know, based on their idea, I think it could work. Um, their idea meaning the fight scenes that they wanted to do, but in terms of the characters and the storylines and stuff, I'm going to come up with it. And... Yeah, it was pretty cool. Like what they can do is amazing. So I'm kind of just excited to film all this stuff. Uh, by filming, I mean I actually don't mean filming. We, we're gonna CG the whole thing, and it's all gonna be done by not all. <laughs> uh, it's it's my project, but uh, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get a get a lot of guys involved in it. So I'm gonna get a lot of help from my friends, my friends. Uh, yeah, so this character is going to be very uh, agile, going to be very quick, and uh, I don't remember if I have a name for it yet. I think the guys gave him a name, but I could be wrong. Um, I wanted to give him a lot of tattoos. The funny thing, you know, what? the funny thing is this: this video is not even going to be done, uh, even if I'm if I have time lapsed it. I only have about ten minutes or so into this whole thing. And it's still not enough. Like it, he still has a long way to go. So you know we're gonna see the the build up of this character from the ground up. So right now we're just working on his face. Uh, I have some brushes for the hair and stuff. Uh, I gotta say I I miss I miss uh, doodle doodling on Photoshop. And Doodle Tuesdays. Uh, I, I I love being able to put up content on YouTube and and stuff, and people actually go and re uh, watch it. It's <laughs> I never really knew what I was what I what I was why I was doing this, and you guys kind of gave it a reason. So I hope that it kind of grows so that I can continue doing it without having to you know worry about other stuff. I love this hairbrush, uh, just because, and it's pretty convenient. But the effects really uh, show up like instantaneously. Like you know, you know, you're you're pretty much doing like five lines at the same time. But because it is shrink to like the 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 size on the pen pressure and stuff uh, is on, it kind of gets that more natural effect too. 
um, if you have any problems with anatomy, I would suggest, and something, you know, like a, some, you're looking for something a little bit more creative, uh, look for Carlos Huante. I did a book. I did a um, review on one of his books. And uh, it's, I got to say, it's one of those things that actually helped me out. I mean, there's a lot of other artists that helped me out. Like when I was a kid, you know, I read a lot of Jim Lee comic books, like, you know, Wildcats or X-Men or whatever, just because it's it's more accessible. It's a little comic book. You buy it and it kind of... It's uh, it's pretty informative. Um, you've I'm pretty sure you've seen this brush actually from before. Uh, right there, I'm using a warp tool. If you go to Edit Transform uh, Warp, uh, you can actually you can actually bend the image kind of like a uh, kind of like a warp, uh, not not a warp, um, like a Wi-Fi kind of thing. But it's happening on the full layer. So whatever is on the layer, that's what you can change. I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I'm doing... I just shrunk the selection. I did an gradient. Oh yeah, I love doing this just because it helps establish an overall color. Uh, not a color, sorry. Uh, it, it, it helps establish an overall kind of shading that you can do. So like, if the light intensity is on the top, it shouldn't be as strong all the way to the bottom. So the light bounce from the bottom is not as strong as your the objects that are closer to the light. So... Um, you know, from 3D objects that I use when I do lighting and stuff on 3D, I kind of use that idea. Um, I, I probably will do this again later on when I'm closer to being finished on my coloring because of the fact that uh, things change and my eyes would probably start, because if I'm focusing on the feet, I would start actually shading it accordingly. And that's, you know, so I'm kind of like erasing what I just did. But, you know, it's not... A, it's kind of accepting human error. I mean, you know, you're like, oh, well, you know, my mind wants to do this, but I'll correct it later. Because then later on, when you pull back, you see the whole character, it's there. So it's kind of like learning mistakes, like um, living with your mistakes and stuff and, and not having to plan everything. And then suddenly you take forever to, to do anything before you can get it done. But this is kind of like, you know, sticking to that traditional style where it's like you drop paint there. You can't just like undo it. I like that idea that you just kind of accept whatever you're putting on there so that, you know, you're smarter next time when you start applying paint and not just be, you know, must be like doing, putting whatever, like you see what it can do already. Like this is sort of an accident, like I see that the effect that the paint is doing on the darker stuff, so what I would actually put that color on some of the darker stuff. Which would mean it makes it go lighter, but then later on you just darken it up. But it still mixes the effect. You're kind of like mixing the color with the darkness shadow now. You know, my coloring technique is not exactly built off of like the old um, traditional paintings per se. But you know what I see in my what what I see with my eyes, that is pretty much enough for me. You know, like that's that's good enough for me, and I just stick with it. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of other artists that can do that have better um, techniques, but uh, no, this one works for me. I just like, and from uh, right now, this is kind of like a rough design. Um, this character is meant to kind of do a lot of flips and a lot of running and uh, a lot of complex martial arts and stuff. But he's also going to be doing a lot of like really impactful kind of movements, like big, you know, serious punches or something very dramatic. So I wanted wanted to be able to show his arms and stuff, and instead of dressing him up, I was just I'm I'm, I'm planning on putting a lot of tattoos on his shoulders and his biceps and stuff. Um, part of my inspiration for his idea, like for the idea for this guy, because I'm right now you're not gonna see a lot of um, tattoos, but you'll see it later. A lot of his tattoos are gonna be kind of it's gonna be on both arms. So basically, it's kind of like uh, what is, what's his name? from uh, wrestling um, that does our uh, uh, Randy Orton Randy Orton's tattoos are pretty cool so I just thought I wanted to try and kind of mimic the same look not the exact same thing but like the idea that it's his tattoos are pretty much his sleeves and it kind of seeps from his like shoulders to almost to his pecs and stuff and I thought that was really really cool and very kind of creepy so I just thought you know it'd be really cool if we did it on his arms so I'm gonna do a whole bunch of tattoos on him and this is kind of cool because I kind of used the wrapping of that, the thing that I just did, 
to actually add to it and also you know, punch it up. And it's kind of there, so it's a little bit of depth. Anyway, that's it for me. Uh, I will do some more next time, okay? Hope you guys learned something. Peace!